All right, I'm gonna do a quick run through on the electrical. Um, so right now key is off. We can go to accessory position. I've already checked these circuits. Um, you can see we get 12 volts on here. And so a bunch of this stuff works, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the on position. So right there, you can hear the fuel pump kick on. Uh, first thing we'll check, I guess, is reverse light. So if I throw that up into reverse, there's my reverse light. It's on when I take it out of reverse. Light should go off. Yep, lights off, okay. Um, next, we will check the blinkers, left blinker. So we've got the uh, clear lenses on the turn signals here. Uh, back, driver's side, indicator on the dash and on the um, speedometer. Both of those are going, so we go right, same thing. Front indicators on both areas. And the bulb here in the back. What else? We've got a, a flash to pass on the turn signal stock here. So the way this works is uh, when the headlights are off, you flick that to pass. When you turn the headlights on, when you touch it, it'll actually turn the high beams on. So let's do that next. So this is parking lights first. All right, so we've got the two up front. The amber lenses, two, all four in the back here. All right, um, we can test the brakes also. Yep, so you can see it getting brighter. And this actually should work with the parking brakes off as well. Yep, okay. So I'll turn that back on. What else? Uh, then we've got headlights. Okay, so we'll turn the headlights on. So that's low beam. And then if we want to turn high beam on, again, we'll use the stock on the Russ Thompson turn signal. So that's on, and you'll notice the dash indicator light comes on as well as the one here on the speedometer. Push it again to turn it off. So that's all you're doing is turning it on and off. All right, turn those off. Um, hazards, so I've got a billet button here. So I notice the button flashes with the hazards. Um, both dash indicator lights as well as the ones here on the speedometer. Got the two ambers up front and the reds out back. Uh, we've got the license plate light here. That's on as well. I'm gonna switch that for some LEDs at some point in the near future. But for now, it's still using the incandescence. What else? Okay, so let's check, turn this off. We will check accessories. Um, horn. Yep, that's nice and loud. Uh, this is the windshield wiper, so two speeds. Um, you'll be able to see if I can turn it with one hand. Ooh, there it goes. Okay, that's slow. I can't really twist it, but it's high speed. Off, okay. Um, next we can test the heater. So with the heater, I've got two speeds and really should be able to see the rotor turn there. It goes low, high, back off. I believe that's pretty much everything. The only two that do not seem to be working or that I haven't really been able to test yet, uh, the footbox blowers here, they don't seem to be powering up and I don't hear the relays clicking over. So something is funky with my wiring. Um, when I push it, nothing happens. And that's the same for the passenger side. Even with, uh, with the lights off, when you push the button, the button does light up. So it's getting power. Um, and the way I've got it wired, it sh the, the light should come on with uh, whenever you have the parking lights or the headlights on or when you push the button. So that's working. It's just a question of why the relays aren't getting power over there. So I'm going to have to check that out and figure out what's going on there. And then the seat heater buttons, too, I haven't tested. Um, I don't have those hooked up yet, but I confirmed I am getting 12 volts on the seat heater wire here. So that's good, at least. And that's it for the for the wiring. Seems like all circuits are running. Um, up next, I'm going to try the starter to see if I can get the engine to crank, even though I don't have any fuel in it or anything like that. Um, I'll have to push the clutch in to do that. There's a clutch switch right here on the Coyote. So if this isn't pressed in, I guess I could just hold it and then start it. And uh, that'll tell me if it's going to crank or not.